Hi everybody, Quint Lears, newhomesales.com. I'm with Tony Proc. He's the director of sales for the core group. Hey, tell me where you're uh, building right now. Uh, currently I'm in Boulder, Colorado at Pellets and West. Now, we're having him on the program. When I say new home sales, uh, wh what are you thinking in your mind? Probably like a little house with a fence around it. What are you doing? We're doing something a little different. So we have uh, the developer built 400 units. They sold half of them many years ago. And then, but they had the other half that were apartments. And they've decided that the market in Boulder right now is good enough and actually really good to accept the balance of the 200 units. So we're converting those to condominiums. So my job is to, is to prepare and equip the front lines with, with uh, you know, cutting edge things that are happening now. Apartments, is this a trend that you're seeing now that wasn't in the past? Is this something new? I would say I don't have the uh, all of the background on that particular question, but it would make sense for most developers right now based on the health of the market. There's really constricted supply in many markets, and then you start drilling down from you know, the Denver market to the Boulder market to the multifamily market, and as you go down that funnel, there's a shortage yeah. of really, you know, what they would consider tier one class A residences. So that's what you're seeing is those developers that have been thinking about it will probably begin to take action and move in that direction. So I've been talking to a lot of different experts and they're saying that they've been underbuilding year after year. And so there's a pent up demand and a supply that can't meet that demand. Is that correct? I would agree with that assessment. Absolutely. And so this is something that you may start seeing in your area. I'm talking to the guy, one of the best in the business at, at doing these. Uh, so tell me this, how is uh, doing condominium sales different than, let's say, regular site-built site housing? Well, it really depends on what's important to the buyer. So you have to do a lot of investigative questioning and make sure you understand that A, it's a good fit, B, that they want multifamily. Uh, maybe they're looking for a heavy amenity type location or they want to lock and leave. Uh, maybe they only use it for a second home, uh, you know, and they're not there full time. So it meets the needs of many different consumers. And the fantastic thing about Peloton West, and you can see it at PelotonWest.com, is the amenities, the location in Boulder. We're walking distance to 29th Street Entertainment District. We're a mile and a half walk to the Pearl Street Mall. And of course, you have all of the outdoor activities that Boulder offers. And it's why so many people love Boulder, Colorado. So that, those are some of the positives. What are some of the challenges uh, in, in doing multifamily conversions in that? Well, I would say if you're talking about challenges, uh, right now it's disseminating all of the inquiries that are coming in and helping educate them as to what the offering is, what it's about and what it involves and uh, making sure that what we have is actually the right fit for them because I, that's one of the most important things I think to us in the sales profession is uh, a lot of us have given, or some of us have given many a bad reputation, right? Because we're the used car deal and we don't want people to feel that way. We are very cognizant about educating them, making sure that the public understands and the consumer understands what it's about. And so we take the time to make sure that we have the right product for them and their lifestyle. And our website's very intuitive. And so it's actually very educational and most folks have a real good grasp on what it is so I don't necessarily know that we have a ton of challenges in the multifamily market right now per se um, it's frankly we're just excited well, and I'm talking more you're you're a selling director of sales um, but I'm talking about you know versus like oh, I don't know if I want to live with people on top of me and below me tell me one tip that you know somebody who's watching that's getting into this multifamily sales you know, there's got to be something that comes up over and over again as a common objection. How do you reframe that or how do you uh, overcome that? Well, you want to know your product. So like, for example, with us, one of the questions we get is, is it noisy? My favorite phrase in this business is compared to what? I want to know the baseline of where we're going from. If you lived, uh, you know, in Chicago or New York and someone comes in and says, hey, is it loud? Probably not. But if you're coming from, you know, suburban Denver, and they're gonna say, is it a little bit noisy? Well, it depends on what your definition of that is. Inside the residence, no. They're tier one construction. Nine and a half inches of concrete between the walls, floors, and ceilings. You don't hear your neighbors that way. You just hear them walk down the hall. So the main thing you wanna understand is there's only differences really that if you're going from single family to this as a resident or a consumer, is that you have a parking garage instead of a garage right outside your door. So you have trips with grocery bags and those sorts of things, but they're understood, but Thinking about it and then it becoming a reality are always two different things. Last question. You're you're the director of sales, so you have people maybe working alongside you that are your coaching and training. Give me one tip that you use to train, coach, motivate your team. One tip to train and coach motivate my team, ask 
questions. The person who's asking the questions is controlling the conversation, like you right now. This is your interview. You're asking me the questions, so I'm responding, and you're in control. And so just the same way when somebody comes in, what I want my sales teams to do uh, is ask questions, and we practice these things, rehearse, and figure out the right questions. You don't want it to be a canned presentation, but you want that buyer to feel like they're dealing with an expert, because not only, you're not just the expert in your product, you're the expert in your immediate area, and the surrounding area, and all the amenities within that area, because they're looking to you for answers, and you have to be knowledgeable on all fronts in order to come across confident, and that puts your buyer at ease. Ladies and gentlemen, we're uh, Tony's a subject matter expert, and that's why I enjoy having experts like you, because even the little tip about compared to what, you know, and then it reframes it, and then asking more questions, any last, uh, any, any last tips for the front lines? If you're talking to somebody right now that's watching that says, you know, give me a tip. What would you talk to somebody that's new in the business? As a salesperson, you always get stuck with silence and that becomes uncomfortable. Don't let it be. Silence is okay and I'll prove it to you. I'm going to pause for three seconds. It's not a big deal. Maybe a little bit, a little bit uncomfortable. A little bit for you? No, I'm just kidding. I'm me. So the phrase that you want to use when you're not sure where you want to go with something or you're trying to reframe things in your mind is tell me more about that. It's a great question slash statement because you're asking for information and at the same time, it's very comfortable. So, you know, like you said, you started this website, you had, you work for new home, new home sales, new home sales. Tell me more about that. What else, what else do you guys do? Yeah, man, we, we, uh, well, yeah, that's good. You want to know what I do? And we get the front lines fired up. We equip them. Now, now, look, he's took it. Hey, give me the control back, man. What are you doing? You're the <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a great tip for salespeople, sales professionals, and you know, management as well, because you you're only as good as your team. And we're all in this together. I don't see myself above my teammates by any stretch of the imagination. I'm an active sell salesperson. Uh, I have some additional responsibilities, but that's okay. I, I want those. But I want my team to succeed. And actually, nothing makes me happier than when we have a happy buyer and they tell people about their experience because that's the most important thing is the buyer experience. Yeah, and the, the tell me more about that. That one phrase can make you a lot of money. That's from the 4-2 formula of the book. Um, great book, great great to meet you, Tony. We're gonna keep in touch. Um, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Uh, we're gonna try to bring you more and more experts. Have a great day, guys.